This project is a series of four distinct shorts that we've created in cooperation with Universal, and it's a reimagining of the Universal monsters in a new and exciting way. Fortnite has, around Halloween time, this Short Nightmares, which is a collection of shorts based around the Halloween theme, and the Universal Monsters fits perfectly into that category. Universal really wanted to execute a new vision, to try to be true to the original spirit of what the monsters were, which were creatures that were, you know, misunderstood rather than being true monsters. But we're going to change them up and make them more contemporary, more global, more inclusive. It's a mix of Shaw Brothers martial arts, heist film, and everything in between. The biggest challenge is the timeline. We had a very condensed timeline with a lot of set changes, a lot of extravagant locations, a lot of characters, crowd, creatures, creature animation, all sorts of things. So our goal with this project was to pretty much have final pixels in Unreal. Everything from characters, effects, lighting, rendering, everything is done in Unreal. We were deciding what it looked like as the project progressed. So one thing that MetaHumans did was allowed us to visualize characters very quickly, get them to rig, get them onto mocap stage and actually get them to capture. So we were able to get characters up on their feet, so to speak, really early in the process. I was really excited about designing Bride because she is really the ringleader and she's the hero. In the original film, she was on film for like three minutes. <laughs> and she's never been explored since. So to make her the hero and make her kind of like the impetus for this whole adventure that's about to happen, empowering her, I thought was just so appropriate. And she's actually six different MetaHumans heads put together, then re-sculpted externally and then re-imported back into Unreal. From Crash's original designs, we would go through and create our base MetaHumans heads. Before Crash saw them, we would actually apply the sculpt pass and some of the finesse to get it really kind of on model sheet and get it close to the essence and the spirit of his original designs. The hair was created externally, and then we would bring them into Unreal. It's quite a complex braided kind of design, so something you would traditionally not attempt in a real-time engine, but it's, it looks amazing, like it looks really cool. Uh, and all dynamic. I was receiving metahuman models that I could work on top of. I mean, they were textured, lit. It was such a rare thing for me to be able to work with that within literally a day or two, I had the final look of our design, which was unheard of before. So the MetaHuman was a game changer for me as, as a designer. So MetaHumans is basically giving us for free all of these face shapes and all of the hard work has already been done for us. Normally we'd run anywhere from 80 to 300 scans that would have to be compiled, resurfaced, retopologized, ingested into a rig, micro and compound expressions put together. With MetaHumans, we're there straight out of the box. We've got a really amazing base that we can then add our detail to and, and plus from there. Ow. Bite him. One thing with Unreal that was really advantageous was being able to work with a more synchronous workflow. We could start with the MetaHumans base head and actually start to capture with actors. We could start to develop scenes, look at lighting, do costume design tests while the characters were actually being worked on. This allowed us to parallel assets, sets, animation, so things would just keep improving and keep moving towards the end goal as the project went on. With Bridge, while the animators are working in Maya, they're able to see the characters essentially lit, shaded, in scene, in parallel with the asset team and lighting team building those elements. Essentially, by the end of the animation process, they're animating in final lighting and final sets. We set out to achieve something in such a tight timeline with such lofty goals, such a massive cast of characters, huge amount of sets, and to be able to sit back and realize we achieved this in such a rapid timeline is pretty amazing. I'm used to digital tools kind of upping the game. You know, it's like things are getting faster and more efficient. So using the Unreal Engine, that kind of just ramped everything up to a level that I hadn't really experienced before. I mean, I'm used to like going a year later to the theater to see what things look like. <laughs> and this is immediate and it's so satisfying. <laughs>